Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick, and in today's quick tutorial, I'm gonna be explaining how to use the My Work page in monday.com. So once you log into monday.com, of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in order to use and customize the My Work page, we will head over to the My Work page now. To do so, we need to go to the left and head over to the checkbox and where it says My Work, just press on that. And then as you can see here, we have the My Work page, and as you can see at the moment, I don't have any work, fortunately. Um, but there are some useful tools that we can use. <clears throat> so we've got the search bar. So up the top left hand corner, if you are looking to search for a piece of work that you know you need to complete, but you can't quite remember what it was, then you can use the search bar. We can also hide or show items that have been completed by using the tick box, and we can just select on and off as we so wish. Uh, useful, obviously, as we don't wanna see all the items we've completed or all the items we've completed taking up the page. And finally, we can also customize the My Work page. This is a really useful tool and it can give us an insight into other users and other things and distill the information to find these specific items that we need to complete for different boards, etc. So if we press the customize button, we can firstly see here people. We've also got boards, status column and date column. We can select the people that we'd like to see the work for. So as an example, I'm gonna hover over Nick Boardman and, and I would like to see the um, work that this user has been assigned. We can also search the name into this search option or we can scroll through the, um, the users in the system to find the person we'd like. So I'm gonna select myself and wait for monday.com to load. And then as you can see here, I am overdue to complete this piece of work. I've got this number today, this week later, without a date, etc. So that's really useful. This gives us an insight into what we need to do. We can also distill the data by boards. So it allows us to see all the boards that we have worked for or what we need to do. So I could turn off start from scratch, for example, or sales pipeline. So that it will only show me or visible boards it will only visibly show me in the my work page those boards. So if I turn off the sales pipeline, you can see here that I'm completely up to date because it's hiding the work that I need to complete for a specific board. So again, a really good way of distilling the data. Now I'll turn that back on. And then we've got status column. Now we can search by status. So if the status is equal to X, then don't show. Uh, if the status is equal to another option, do show as an example. So you can work through these and um, just to find the information that you do need. Um, you can also remove them as well. So if you press the X and then you can have no selection for the sub items, etc. Feel free to work through these. These are obviously going to be specific to the board that you're using. So it's hard to give you exact information. And then we can also use date columns as well. Again, these are going to be specific to the board you're using, but you can hide and show data dependent on date boards in the boards. Much like, can, much like you can hide and show data on boards or in the My Work page dependent on the boards as well. So once you've uh, finalized going through customizing My Work page, it will then give you all the informa all the work, all the items that you need to complete in order to continue throughout your day. And that is how to use the My Work page and customize the My Work page in monday.com. I hope this video has clearly explained how to use the My Work page in monday.com. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.